hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we will take wear willica reaction and we are going to take this reaction in very brief manner we are going to take very important points about it through lots of examples and we will take many questions from csi and net and gate so first we should understand what is the mechanism of it so first we will take mechanism and then we will discuss important point related to it this reaction take place on ketones acyclic ketones and cyclic ketones then they will give us esters and lactones so first i am taking this example and for this we need per acids per acids like trifluoro paracetic acid or we can take mcpba h2o2 right we will take under what condition what type of per acid will be used right so first we will understand the mechanism we have suppose this per acid here so this oxygen having lone pair of electron will attack on this carbonyl carbon this bond will so first is the attack of this oxygen and shifting of this charge then there is proton transfer this proton will be transferred from this oxygen to this oxygen so i am directly writing here that you will get this one this lone pair of electron will shift here and when it will shift here this carbon will become pentavalent so this bond will migrate to this oxygen because this carboxylate group is acting as a good leaving group so when it will leave from here then this bond will shift here and because this oxygen is becoming electron deficient after the removal of this carboxylate this one it is taking this shared pair of electron this oxygen is becoming electron deficient that is why this carbon which is electron rich in nature will migrate to this oxygen this point is very very important that migratory group this the group which is going under migration is electron rich in nature because it is migrating to electron poor oxygen so the migratory group should be electron rich in nature this point is very important now you can easily decide that what will be the migratory aptitude of different groups right so only remember this point whether it is cyclic acyclic or aromatic type of migratory group always you have to find out that which group is electron rich in nature and on the basis of that you can decide that which will be migrate right now rest step is very simple that this six membered ring will become seven membered ring if you have confusion that how to write down the correct structure you can number them this will be your final product this h plus will be removed and you will get this is your lactone right so we have understand the mechanism the main important point in this is mechanism is that migratory group should be electron rich in nature now we can do different type of examples and each example will tell us about the key point of this reaction right so in first example you have double bond as well as ketone in this molecule right and we are using mcpba so we know that mcpba can do two type of function it can do wear willigar reaction as well as it can do epoxidation so when question comes that which will be preferred what type of reaction will be preferred first then always consider epoxidation with mcpba because mcpba is comparatively electron poor if you are using h2o2 then it is electron rich in nature its attack is due to its high nu highly nucleophilic nature right so it will not show epoxidation because epoxidation is basically on double bond and your double bonds are acting as a nucleophilic centers we have discussed about this a lot in the cladden book summary that your alkenes are good nucleophile so they will try to attract groups which are electron poor in nature but h2o2 is already electron rich its its attack is due to its nucleophilic nature that is why it will not show epoxidation so if we want that only wear willigar reaction will take place if we want selectively that only wear willigar reaction will take place we can use h2o2 because in presence of mcpba it will give you preferentially epoxidation right you can easily do this type of reaction that whenever you have 
double bond and ketone in the same molecule and you are using mcpva then epoxidation will be done first and if you are using h2o2 then wear willinger reaction will be done first right but in this particular case your double bond is hindered in nature due to this presence presence of this group your double bond is hindered so whenever your epoxidation process is hindered because in uh, in this type bridged compounds mcpva cannot attack from the kvt side it cannot attack from the kvt side it will attack from this side only exo side but this side is already hindered so it cannot attack it cannot show epoxidation easily it can do epo beer willinger reaction now you know the whole mechanism of this beer willinger reaction but if you want to do it in a quick manner then what is a trick that you can insert newly oxygen basically you are inserting an oxygen in this reaction so what you have to do that you can insert oxygen in between your carbonyl and electron rich carbon center i am saying again that what you can do you can insert newly coming oxygen from per acid in between carbonyl group and electron rich carbon center so you can recognize that this carbon center is rich or this one is rich this one is rich right so this will migrate and when it will migrate your oxygen will be inserted like this it will come in between of this carbon and this carbon at this position right so you will get this one as product then next one is again we have a bridged compound so we have to understand that in bridge that we have uh, we have studied that always you have to consider electronic factor when you are considering your migratory group electronic factor is considered always means if a group is electron rich in nature it will migrate right but in case of bridged compound you have to consider steric factor first steric factor will be given preference than electronic factor in case of aromatic acyclic ketones electronic factor will be given pref will be given preference but in case of bridged compound we have to give preference to uh, steric factor so in this case this carbon is electron rich right then this one we can migrate these two carbon when we are doing this wear willinger reaction so what we will do we can insert oxygen in between this carbon and this one we have to give preference to this one because it is electron rich in nature so we will get this type of product right but when you have groups attached at this position means at bridge bridged carbon you have bulky group attached this will this will be this molecule will become hindered in nature right so in this particular case your bridge head carbon will not migrate in this case we are migrating a bridge head carbon but now due to the presence of these groups this bridge head carbon cannot migrate so we have to migrate this carbon only so this carbonyl will remain in its place we have to insert oxygen here because this carbon is migrating so we have to insert oxygen in between this carbon and this carbonyl carbon so in case of bridged compound always remember that if you have group present at bridged bridged carbon then bridge head carbon cannot migrate right so this point is important remember this one then in next example we understand that what is migratory aptitude so i am giving you a migratory aptitude so this will be the order of migratory aptitude preference will be given to electron rich carbon centers like tertiary alkyl then you can have confusion in between all these so do you can remember these cyclohexyl secondary alkyl fen benzyl phenyl all have almost same type of migratory aptitude then primary alkyl this one is important that cyclopropyl will be given preference to methyl but if you have primary alkyl then it will be uh, given preference than cyclopropyl group so here we have to migrate this cyclopropyl group rather than this methyl 
so you will get oxygen inserted in between this ketone carbonyl group and cyclopropyl group right so you will get this type of molecule so this is the migratory aptitude for these all but if you have aromatic compound aromatic compound attached with different type of groups at ortho meta para position then you can easily recognize that which group will be electron withdrawing which will be electron donating and based on that you can easily determine that which will be electron rich in nature then you can decide what will be migratory aptitude then next point is that that for optically active carbon centers their configuration will be retained during the migration what is the meaning of it that suppose you want to do beer willinger reaction on this ketone so we can migrate this methyl or this secondary carbon but the preference will be given to this one right because it this is electron rich so when it will be migrated oxygen have to be inserted in between this ketone and this carbon but the configuration of this carbon will be retained during the migration this question is also very important you can have variation in this type of example but remember that configuration will be retained during the migration then this is very interesting example that you have here ketone and double bond both so in case of strained ketone whenever you have a strained ketones then preference will be given to weyer willinger reaction right here i have a double bond which is easy to be easily go under my uh, epoxidation so when i am using this mcpba epoxidation will be given preference but if i am using h2o2 or this bis trimethylsilyl peroxide in presence of bf3 then weyer willinger reaction will be given preference so now you can decide that we have to insert oxygen in between this ketone this carbonyl carbon or this one we can uh, now you can recognize that we have here two options that we can insert oxygen in between this carbon and this carbonyl carbon or we can insert in between this one and this carbon so we can easily recognize that this one is electron rich in nature so we have to insert here so in final molecule we will have this one as final product then next we will take questions from csi and net and gate so first question is from net june 2013 the major product formed in the following reaction sequence so first we are using a par acid then lithium aluminum hydride now you can easily do this reaction based on migratory aptitude this bridged carbon is not hindered in nature so we have to follow our electronic rule here so we have to insert oxygen in between this carbon and this carbonyl carbon right because this is electron rich as compared to this one so what we will get here this one then we are using lithium aluminum hydride so we will break this carbon oxygen bond it can do its reduction so here we will have oh and here we will have ch2oh now what about their attachment side so these two carbon chains are on the same side so they will be placed on the same side in final molecule also so if i am drawing this molecule as five membered ring that i can number them for my convenience i am numbering them 1 2 3 4 and 5 so suppose this is carbon 1 and if this methyl is going above the plane this oh will go below the plane then on number 2 we have this one this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is carbon number 5 so on number 4 we have ch2oh which will be also on the same side that of of oh right they are they both of them are moving on the same side so we will place them and it is an option number second right then next question is from june 2016 here they are using a par acid and in this question you can see that in all the option they have done both weyer willinger reaction as well as epoxidation because double bond is not hindered in nature as well as this ketone is strained in nature right so it can easily undergo this is this cyclic ketone is under strain so it will show weyer willinger reaction very easily now question come that what where our oxygen will be inserted and what will be the attachment side of incoming oxygen during the epoxidation so first we will see where will be the reaction so we can migrate this carbon 
or we can migrate this carbon but preference will be given to this one right this is your 3 degree carbon so it will be migrated so oxygen will be inserted in between this carbon and this carbonyl carbon so what will happen here we will insert our oxygen and this CO will come like this this will become your 5 membered ring then these two will remain on as such then what about the ep epoxidation so in this type of molecule as we have discussed many time that these two H are coming like this right they are coming like this so here we have a cavity so the incoming group will attack from away cavity side right it will not attack from the cavity side that is why epoxidation will be done to the same side that of hydrogen means away cavity side right so this oxygen will be added like this so it is in option number third this will be your correct answer next is question from december 2018 we have done this question many times but again we will do this so here we have this zinc copper couple in this reaction we can use a base also so in this reaction what we will generate we will generate a dichloroketine right then we have here this molecule which has a double bond right so it will show 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction next question comes that we can attach this ketene in this way means they can attach like this or what we can do we can just reverse this molecule like this one right and we can attach these two like this but we have to decide that which carbon is electron deficient in nature so first we will see in ketene this carbon is electron deficient right so next is we have to decide in our alkene so this carbon is close to this oxygen this is oxygen will pull electron density towards it to due to high electron electronegativity so this is electron deficient in nature so what we have to do we have to attach the carbon which is electron rich with this carbon so comparatively this carbon is electron rich than this so we will attach these two carbon together and with this is electron rich in nature and this is electron deficient in nature so we will attach these two together so what is the a product this one is product then we are doing wear willigar reaction using mcpba so this is very simple that we can migrate we can migrate this carbon or we can migrate this one but this is electron poor because attached with two chlorines and it is compatibly electron rich right and also three degree carbon so we will migrate it means oxygen will be inserted in between this carbon and this carbonyl carbon so this will be our final product b this is b and this one is your a so you can find out that this is in option number four next is question from gate 2010 so first we will do the use of this mcpva we don't have any double bond in this molecule so epoxidation cannot be done only wear willigar reaction can be done but the question comes that which carbon will be migrated so we can migrate this carbon or we can migrate this one according to electronic concept we can we should migrate this one because it is electron rich in nature but as i have told you that in case of bridged compound if this carbon is hindered in nature then you have to follow a steric rule a steric rule means this bridgehead carbon cannot migrate we have to migrate this one only right so what will happen oxygen will be inserted in between this carbon and this carbonyl carbon right we will get this one as product x then we are using here hno3 which is very strong oxidizing agent so it will break this carbon carbon chain this carbonyl carbon and this carbon chain and it will become it will convert it into coh group and it will also convert it into right so this is all about this reaction we have taken all the important point about this so if any question comes based on we are reaction i hope you will be able to solve that one so that's it all about this video thank you so much for watching and if you like my videos please please share my videos with your friends